In 1993, a 23-year-old man named Trent Dwyer's Mint joined as a stockbroker at a bank in Abbotsford, Canada. Abbotsford was a relatively small suburb, tucked away in the shadow of nearby Vancouver, where most of the big business deals were being made. Given the location and the fact that he was a rookie, nobody expected too much of him. But he made brisk progress with using paper clips. He began each morning with two jars on his desk. One was filled with 120 paper clips and the other was empty. As soon as he settled in each day, he made a sales call. Immediately after, he moved one paper clip from the full jar to the empty jar, and the process continued. Every day he started with 120 paper clips in one jar and he kept dialing the phone until he had moved them all to the second jar. Within 18 months, he was bringing in $5 million to the firm. By age 24, he was making $75,000 per year. Not long after, he landed a six-figure job with another company. We make decisions such as exercising, dieting, and quitting smoking, but it is not easy to keep practicing them. It's easy once it becomes a habit, but it's hard to get there. Then what should we do? Experts advise us to use visual cues as like this case. Making progress is satisfying, and visual cues like moving paper clips provide clear evidence of our progress. As a result, they reinforce our behavior and a little bit of immediate satisfaction to any activity. This is the reason visual cues work well for building new good habits.